The final trailer for Black Widow was dropped. Let's do this. I tell people my sister moved out west. You're a science teacher. Your husband, he renovates houses. You're thinking about moving, but you're gonna wait until the interest rates go down. That's not my story. <laughs> Before I was an Avenger, I made mistakes. And a lot of enemies. He's called Science Taskmaster. He controls the Red Room. They're manipulated. Fully conscious, but no choices. I should have come back for you. How many others are there? Enough. We have to go back to where it all started. So they never do that to anyone again. We're a family. We fight with you. You won't win. I've always found it best. Not to look into the past. Okay, you got a plan or shall I just stay dug and cover? My plan was to drive us away. Well, your plan sucks. At some point, we all have to choose between what the world wants you to be and who you are. I made my choice. I'm done running. Here's what's gonna happen. Natasha, don't slouch. I'm not slouching. You're going to get a bad hunch. Mm, listen to your mother. Oh my God, this up, up, is... All right, enough, <laughs> all of you. I didn't say anything. That's not fair. All right, real quick before I give my full take on it, go ahead and tell me what you thought down below in the comment section. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Did it give too much away? Or are you liking the marketing thus far? After this video, if you want more Marvel content from me, check out this playlist. It's got a bunch of my rankings of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I'm going to watch it one more time, and then I'll start talking. All right, so this trailer gives quite a bit more plot than we previously got for the movie as it kind of establishes what the specific thing they're trying to do is, why they're getting the gang back together, and who they're trying to save, what they're trying to make no longer happen. Gives us a little bit more information as to kind of this Taskmaster, what he's up to and what these things they're battling are inside of it. Um... To that point, the plot as described in the trailer was really straightforward. Uh, in, in, in that regard, it feels like they gave us the whole movie because the plot is established as being kind of just this, um, she learns, uh-oh, the people I left behind are struggling, I will go free them. Fairly straightforward. But at the same time, we're getting multiple shots of Thunderbolt Ross in there, clearly de-aged, clearly him quite a ways back. And so there's obviously going to be a lot more layers to the story than the, the fairly straightforward get the gang back together, go rescue people plot line that we get. Of course, there's all sorts of speculation as to who Taskmaster is going to end up being, what that big twist reveal, which is assuming is going to be some sort of like, let's turn the whole thing upside down and give us this whole like, what type moment in the film. So, um, you know, I, if I were just kind of go into my general feelings on the trailer, uh, I mean, I guess it, for the most part, added just a little bit to my excitement. There's kind of some more cool action shots in there, and that's what the previous ones had done a nice job of showing that they had a good style for the action, and, um, shows that there's lots of action inside the film. It can have a little bit of humor when it needs to have some humor, and but at the same time, it kind of still hasn't done anything to convince me why this will be a consequential movie inside the MCU. And that's where I think the 
this movie's hard selling point is is that it feels like, hey, let's throw ScarJo a bone. Uh, she did all these movies. We really like her. We never we didn't get give her a movie until we killed her. So um, let's give her a movie now. And so it's this prequel thing, um, in which case it just feels like filler space. It just feels like doing her a favor. Or they needed one more. They wanted more time to set up real Phase Four. So let's put something in the slot that'll be fun. It'll be a big spy movie. It's a little bit different for the MCU, but does it really make a dent? Does it really make a difference? It doesn't feel that way. And not everything needs to, but the MCU is pretty well known for do, doing that. Like each one, even whether they're they're big or small, there's something about them that really matters to the grander narrative that they're establishing moving towards something. So then when we move into phase four and the first one we get, first inclinations, the impression is that it doesn't really move the needle much. That's a little bit on the, the frustrating side. So um, anyway, I... I'm sure I'll like the movie. I'm sure I'll enjoy it. But they're not doing a lot to sell me on its importance to the grander MCU. And I think that's that'll probably make a lot of people feel like, I can just wait till home video. Like, I'm sure I'll check it out at some point in time when it's on Disney+. Plus. And um, so that's kind of my take on it. Tell me what you thought down below in the comment section. If you want more Marvel content from me, check out those videos right over there. And keep talking movies too much.